Hey, it's Lee from Best at Losing, and I'm here with another pickups video. Now, it is 1.30 on a Wednesday night, but my back is killing me, so it's not like I'm going to sleep any. Uh, so yeah, I have something to show you guys. Uh, there is someone at work, her name's Chantal, uh, who is moving, and she was trying to get rid of everything in her house, and she knows I collect games, and she had a bunch of NES games, actually, quite a bit. Um, nothing particularly rare. Uh, I gave her a few bucks for it, I gave her $40 for it. Um, I don't think I'm gonna make any money off of these, uh, but that's not really the goal. I'm gonna take something out of it. Add it to my collection, I think. Uh, I might give a game or two to some friends who could use some. Uh, everything else I'll try to trade in, but I'm guessing I ain't making any money off of this. Um, but, there, you know, the volume is there. It's just uh, uh, in terms of, like, really high-end quality, there just isn't much in here. But I will show you what I have because it's still pretty cool to get this many games in one shot. and uh, Kind of nice to show. So... There's a little bit of everything in here, mostly uh, fairly common games, but still. Um, I'll start with, there's a couple Tengen games, so here is, and this is all NES, I should specify. Um, so here's RBI Baseball, uh, which I actually have never played, but I doubt that I put that in my collection. It's just not quite up to the uh, the standards I've now, <laughs> I now have. Now I'm actually picky. Uh, when I first started, I'd add anything. Now it's just, it needs to be something special. Uh, here's Fantasy Zone. Uh, now I have about 40 versions of this game, but I do not have the NES version. Um, I don't think I'm keeping this either, to be honest with you. I don't really collect Tengen stuff. I like to get the authentic NES stuff, even though they do say the Tetris version is the best one. Um, so let's go into the other games. So here's Golf. Now this one has me a little bit on the edge because uh, I don't really need this and it's not like I'm excited to add Golf to my collection, but I do have kind of fond memories of Golf because it's one of the few games I ever played with my father. <laughs> my father hates video games, but there was a weekend where my sister and my mother were out of town and we rented Golf and played that. Here's a Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. I believe it is my fifth copy. No, probably third. Here is uh, Rad Gravity, um, which is um, a, it was a super common game, uh, but it's recently gone up in value a little bit. I don't know why, because there's nothing special about that game. It's kind of terrible. Um, RC Pro-Am. Um, you know, I actually have never played this game, and a lot of people love it. Maybe I will keep this. It's not like it's a rare game, but... Uh, yeah, maybe a fun one to keep. I don't know. Uh, I don't think I'm getting any money for it if I trade it in, so... Yeah, I'll probably keep that. Uh, there's Track and Field 2. Uh, here's... Gotcha. That space shuttle with a bunch of marker on it. That looks like a challenge to me. It's a game a lot of people actually really like. I don't know. Um, again, not sure I'm going to keep that. That label looks a little rough, but we can probably clean that up. Um, so this is Tiny Toon Adventures 2. Again, very common, but kind of a... Interesting. At, at forty bucks for this kind of volume, if I if I went to a store, I couldn't buy this stuff for forty bucks. So I guess that's not bad. It's just that none of it was going into my collection, really. So that's why I, I couldn't offer more. I, I didn't want to be a jerk, but I also couldn't kind of break my bank for something that wasn't going to go in my collection. Um, this is the Secret Scroll Flying Dragon, and I I know a little bit about this game, but not enough to talk about it right now. I I, I remember looking it up and thinking, oh, that sounds cool, 
but then looking at it and it's going, well, that's not really that cool. Here's Jaws, um, considered to be not the worst game, but you know it's LJN. <laughs> you know what to, what you're getting from that a movie license game that's not very good. Uh, here's Twin Eagle. Um, this actually has a really cool label, so I might actually keep that for the collection just just because of the label, and I know it's not. Again, I'm not going to get anything in trade for it. Um, here's Paperboy. I think I'm going to give this to my friend Scott. He's got a nice nice NES collection going, but he doesn't have Paperboy. Um, it's a little bit upsetting, actually. Here's another LJN movie game. The Karate Kid. LJN, man. Everybody hates on LJN. With pretty decent reason. Uh, here is... I'm kind of picking them out in a different order here. Skate or Die. The Adventures of Dino Ricky. I've never actually played that. And here are probably the two most collectible games in, this, in the set. Uh, there is DuckTales, and this I will actually get a little bit of trade-in value if I bring it in. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting it like a $20 trade-in, uh, give me a little reduction on my price for, on something. Um, and here is Silver Surfer, and that, that I, I think this is going into my collection. I see a little marker to rub out here with a magic eraser. This will be super smooth plastic. Um... But yeah, Silver Surfer, you know, it's notoriously difficult. Some people think it's terrible. Other people say it's not terrible. It's just really, really hard. It's a bit of a shooter that I kind of like shooters. Yeah, I think I'm going to keep that. So that's that's a pretty decent stack of games here. Like that's I didn't actually count them out, but... Ugh. And I got the two tension games, too. Maybe if I push that over here. I'll just show them, whatever, that's fine, you know they're there. So that's what, 4, 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 games. Jeez, now I feel like, kind of like an ass for only giving 40 bucks. I just couldn't give much more, I was on a budget at the time. Um, but yeah, that's a, a decent stack of games. I'm going to move this closer instead of moving the games towards it. And, uh... Probably one of them is going into my collection. The rest are probably going to move around. I, my guess is, because I'm going to get so little in trade-in, I'm probably not going to trade in much. I'm probably going to add more than just one to my collection. And probably disperse a lot of the other ones into my friend Scott's collection. Um, I just stood up for some reason. My leg was getting super numb. And my back is still hurting. Uh... I'm going to call this a video. This was long enough for you guys, but 20 games is, takes a little while to show. Uh, I do plan on shopping this weekend, and I plan on going a little nuts because I got paid, and it's the weekend after my birthday. So expect to see at least one high-ticket item next time. All right. Thanks for watching.